Hello. I've rearranged my office room yet again. I've never actually put my desk here because my biggest ick in videos is when somebody films in front of a freaking mirror and I can see the reflection. There's just, oh, there's just something about it I hate so much, but you can't see my reflection, so it's fine, I guess, right? It is throwing the color balance a little bit out of whack, but it's fine. Okay, we'll, we'll work with it. I'll figure out something. Anyways, hello. October was very understandably a really hard month for a lot of us, a lot of us sane people, and I have barely left my apartment all that time, and I didn't really enjoy Halloween to the fullest, but <laughs> right after Halloween, I immediately had to switch to Christmas. I'm designing my sister's Christmas card, and we're planning Christmas things because I hope to go home to Belize for Christmas and so all of that preparation is happening. Also a lot of end of year things that I am preparing for. Um, I even started a new journaling thing. I talked about it on my Patreon. It's available to the lowest tier but I'm trying out a new journaling method in a way. New book that I feel like I'll probably carry on into the new year but a video coming in later November talking about all of my notebooks and all everything that I use in 23 and then what I'm going to use in 24. Also going to be setting up my 24 reading journal very soon. As soon as it comes in the mail, where is it? Oh, that reminds me, I have to order my Hobonichi for next year because if I go home to Belize, I'll probably end up going home early because flight's expensive, but I'm going to need to take all my notebooks with me and plus I'm going to film that video, so I'll need the book notebooks by then, so you know, it's a good excuse. <laughs> What was the point? Where did I start with this? I haven't really gotten out of my apartment in a while, so I figured today I would go to a different part of the city. I live in New York City. I should take advantage of that privilege. I'm going to head over to Park Slope. Uh, I have a couple of places in that area that I want to go visit. Sit in a cafe, journal a little bit. This journal, the point of this new journal that I'm trying out is that it should be more portable and that I can write more in it rather than just like pretty collages, you know? And write more in it outside of the home. So we're gonna go to a cafe, have a little fun time. In that area is a bookstore called The Ripped Bodice that recently opened like probably a few months ago now. Time flies when you're a homebody. I wanna visit that. It's a romance bookstore. I almost a romance fantasy because that is what I love so much. I don't know what kind of array of romance fantasy they have because whenever I see pictures of it, it's like the contemporary section. <sighs> but they have a fantasy section. So hopefully they have some good. I need a new read so maybe I can pick up something to read there. I was thinking of Slaying the Vampire Conqueror by Curse of Broadbent, but um, unfortunately I will not be supporting Curse of Broadbent anymore due to um, recent revelations. So um, one book that I have on my Kindle that I, if I have a physical copy, maybe I'll get it. Uh, and maybe I'm thinking of reading it soon. I've been putting it off for a while because I'm like, it's so long, but it's not really that long. It's fine. Um, City of Gods and Monsters. I forget who it's by. I've had this on my TBR for so long. I've skimmed read it before and there's something like very trigger warning that happens in it that I was bawling my eyes out for. But like, it's a spoiler to tell you, but like, I feel like I should tell you, but like, I can't. Anyways, it's very like Crescent City vibes, urban fantasy. Yeah, I want to read it, but I've just been putting it off for so long. So maybe if they had that, I would get that. I don't know. Anyways, I'm also, while I'm out, if I find any places to look for Christmas presents, that'd be good because Christmas is approaching and I might be going home. Very exciting. Anyways, let's go be a little less of a homebody for a day and leave my apartment. <laughs> Thank you. 
Imagine. <laughs> that would really look like a cry for help, a manic episode, but I just... Anyways, successful morning outing. I just had lunch, I was so ravenous. You know the post-lunch sleepiness? It is hitting hard. So I made a coffee, even though I don't really want a third coffee for the day. But I've got work to do. <sighs> it tastes like ass. Usually my first cup of coffee of the day is so scrumptious. But if I have a second, sometimes it tastes so bad. And that is where we are right now. It's kind of upsetting. I have some work to do um, and I have to book a vet appointment. <sighs> Vets are so expensive. Save me, Rocky. But if we're going home for Christmas, we need Rocky. All of Rocky's rabies stuff. And he needs to get a microchip. Which kind of weirds me out, but at the same time, like, I carry my phone around every, all the time, every day, all day. So, it's basically like, I, I have a microchip. What's the difference? I'll show you what I got. At that, I think it was called Blue Ribbon, or any Annie's, someplace. I got a little snowflake garland. I have a lot of felt Christmas decorations. I feel like it's a good texture to intersperse with others. But this holiday season, I've been leaning more towards a snowy vibe so that's perfect oh it's annie's blue ribbon general store uh the books that i got from the ripped bodice the ripped bodice so fun uh and i asked if they had city of monsters because i didn't see it but i figured i would ask just in case like they do have it sometimes but i don't think that the author sells them or something they're saying look at the freaking receipt it's pink so healing, you know? So the books that I got were, as you probably saw, Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. This edition, just beautiful. I will probably in the future get this version of Emma, but I have, I think, two copies of Emma, so 
let's not. I don't know if I have a copy of Sense and Sensibility, so I figured, ooh, I like the Pride and Prejudice one as well. But I figured I'd get this one, um, and my goal for next reading year is to read more classics, or to or to keep them in mind more to read them. Uh, the next one is Modern Divination, one of my mutuals, mm -hmm. Taylor. She just posted about this this morning, I saw on Instagram. And so when I saw it in the bookstore, I was like, um, maybe it's a sign. So I will save this book for probably next week or the week after. I want to do like a dark slash magical academia reading week, which I'll vlog, of course. Um, and I'll read this one for that. I think I'll also read A Study in Drowning and a couple of others, but stay tuned for that. So I went to this art store because it's humongous, so I figured I'd go have a little look, but um, I didn't really have anything in mind that I needed to buy, and then I got there and I was like, actually, I need new block printing, like linoleum. So I got a couple. They've got like a dusty film on them, <laughs> so I don't really want to touch them, but I got three, so <laughs> very happy with that. They're a lot softer than the ones that I have, used before so we'll see how this goes very fun i don't know something about the like dusty texture of that is like weirding me out i got a gold what's it called block printing ink i also got an extra nib is that what you call these lino cutter it's like the thing that, you, that is used to carve but this is like a really tiny one and i like it so then i like how they had like paper that is already how do you call it like there's already like a line there for you to fold for cards uh because i'm so bad i don't know what it is but i'm so bad at folding paper for cards and it just looks really untidy so i got some for my christmas cards so these are my like my personal christmas cards that i'll make for my family i got three of them and then i got two just regular papers because I'm not like a great painterly artist, but I do. I have it in my mind to paint my one aunt's bird. <laughs> she has a bird named Conchita, and I'm like, why did you buy a bird, lady? It's so freaking noisy. Like, I don't get why people get birds. Like, I love birds. I love all animals, but like, except mosquitoes. Mosquitoes can all go to hell. Anyways, so I also want to mention I was reading city of gods and monsters and the beginning is fun i didn't get that far and i read a couple of chapters but it's got an academia theme to it so that's fun so i don't know if i should start an audiobook because if i do then i will prioritize audiobook over this which i feel like i should sit down later and read this if i have time but i shall get to work now uh you like how i just said that and what's available on script well it's called everand now which is kind of everand feels like such a mouthful i like the name script better the hurricane wars i wanted to read this when it came out and then i put off using my audible credit because i am poured my audible credits good thing i put it off so much because here it's on script now this wasn't supposed to be available till tomorrow but sometimes it's like a day early so i will probably read this i've been looking forward to this book i don't know why i haven't really listened to what other people have thought about this book it just sounds good and i am trying not to have too high of expectations but i really want this to be like a solid fantasy you know i don't expect it to be like my favorite or anything groundbreaking out of this world but i expect it to be solid i just want like a solid fantasy
Um, sorry if you can hear Rocky licking his paws in the background. There is no stopping him. He is on a roll. He'll be like this for the next 10, 15 minutes. He is unstoppable at night. At least he only does it at night before we go to bed. Anyways, I didn't end up listening to any of the Hurricane Wars, only like a minute. I had to focus on my work, so um, it just, I, I was like, this is not the atmosphere for focusing on a new book and learning a new world. Although I was thinking about City of Gods and Monsters, so I'm gonna try and read some more of it. I feel like this will be like a long project <laughs> because tomorrow I have a lot of cleaning in my apartment to do. I wanna do a deep clean, prepare for winter, take, take down, take away take down my halloween decorations so sad but i'm going to drink my hot chocolate read a little bit and then knock out because i'm so sleepy and i very much need to keep my sleep schedule i need to do all this work to mess it up on the first night you know what i mean how is the paw licking anyways i hope you enjoyed spending the day with me thank you very much for caring for watching my videos, like I, you don't even, you don't even understand how much it means to me. Like, I don't think you understand, okay? But it means so much to me, and I'm so grateful for you, and I'm grateful for this outlet of being able to make videos, because I really love to do it. Sometimes I'm a little bit like, Ugh, I hate editing, but then I get into the flow of it, and I'm like, oh, I love this, it's so fun. Where's another video? I can edit more. Uh, but then I, I don't pre-film very ahead of it, so... Hopefully, I'm going to try and do that this November because if I'm going home early to Belize for Christmas, then um, I want some stuff pre-filmed because Wi-Fi in Belize, ugh, I don't know her. Anyways, see ya.